uh, in this video lecture uh, we are going to make filters uh, uh, we'll make uh, FIR filters in this video lecture uh, in the last lecture in the third lecture we discussed about uh, how to uh, blink the LEDs how to use the switches uh, with its uh, DSP kit so in this video lecture we'll discuss how to make the filters means the real time we can give the digital data digital uh, audio data and we can uh, filter the higher lower or any frequency components and we can uh, listen it somewhere further processing so uh, uh, we need uh, uh, one thing we need is the kit and uh, second we need some uh, input device uh, uh, which can give the audio signal uh, it can be the audio from your laptop uh, or it can be the uh, audio from your mobile or some some other uh, audio device so uh, we can uh, uh, another thing is uh, we need the speakers uh, uh, we, you can just uh, see in the uh, video that uh, uh, one thing we need is the kit uh, uh, the kit and uh, uh, here is the line in input from the uh, computer from laptop and this is the output that is uh, uh, going to the speakers uh, we can see it here uh, that is going to the speakers uh, we, we have to listen this uh, uh, the output and uh, uh, here is the laptop uh, with the software we are using uh, so uh, let us firstly uh, uh, before starting with this kit uh, and making the filters uh, we, uh, we should know that uh, what an FIR filter is so uh, 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 if generally uh, we are going to make a FIR filter with a uh, uh, direct form 1 uh, that happens uh, with the convolution this, uh, direct convolution of filter coefficients and the input signal so uh, uh, I can uh, uh, just uh, uh, show you here uh, this one so uh, this is the uh, channel FIR filter will talk uh, this XK is the input signal we can say uh, and uh, K is the uh, which sample is it K may be the 0 1 2 3 4 uh, means if we will talk about the uh, relating this with the C language we can say that XK can be our array in, in which K depends uh, that uh, uh, how many elements are there uh, of the input signal and uh, then uh, we have here the H0 1 2 and 3 these we can consider as the filter coefficients so these filter coefficient can be generated by uh, the mathematical calculation the theoretical calculations and second thing uh, we can use the MATLAB uh, MATLAB have a tool uh, F uh, that is filter design and analysis tool uh, we can uh, go on the MATLAB and we can write a command FDA tool and uh, we can generate the filter coefficients from there uh, I will just show you that uh, and uh, another thing we can do it by uh, mathematical calculations so um, these H0, 1, 2, 3 uh, it's uh, going up to N minus 1 we can say uh, and these are the filter coefficients uh, so uh, the, uh, if we'll talk about uh, again the C language you know, we can consider it as an another array of uh, filter coefficients we can write it like H uh, of uh, uh, array of H so, uh, w so what we have to do here is the XK so this is the first one the, the first one uh, sample of the input signal that is multiplied with H0 the uh, then it's delayed delayed doesn't mean that particular uh, input sample is delayed this sample before that sample suppose if we are uh, sampling the signal the, the signal is coming the signal stream is coming uh, with a uh, uh, A to D converter so digital data uh, the latest data and the data back to the latest data that is the Z minus one that will be uh, uh, multiplied with the another coefficient like this the uh, another delayed data is multiplied with the h2 and, and like this we have to multiply all these and to sum them here is a sigma we have to sum all of them and that will produce a single output here a and we can talk it about in a uh, mathematical that convolution theorem we can talk it like convolution uh, if you will see in the convolution so uh, this is the convolution theorem which uh, it says that sigma of m is equal to 0 uh, is going up to m minus 1 and uh, h of m x of n minus 1 so consider that y n so this small n we can consider it as a 0 so if m 0 is there so h m uh, h 0 that is multiplied with x of uh, uh, 0 so another thing uh, if it is 1 
then this uh, this can become a minus one so like this if it is five it's becoming uh, x is becoming minus five that means uh, suppose if we have two arrays h and x so if h uh, of uh, fifth array uh, fifth array element of h and the x uh, uh, from x is the last fifth element of uh, x so that means uh, we are multiplying the first element of uh, uh, first uh, h array uh, and the last element of an x array so like this uh, if we want to do it like this in the c language that is okay otherwise uh, we can uh, just uh, uh, reverse all the all the elements of one array uh, and then we can directly multiply uh, x of 0 h of 0 x of 1 h of 1 like this we can do so in our uh, filter we are uh, doing like the same we are just multiplying x of 0 to h of 0 because firstly uh, we are putting uh, all these uh, uh, samples in the reverse order in the summary so 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 i can uh, uh, how we can write it uh, uh, we can have suppose we have some array of h uh, that's the array of the coefficient and we can have an array of samples that's the array of input samples so uh, we need some loop in some for loop we can write the equation and uh, 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 here we can have the result RESU uh, so we can have the result that is, is equal to uh, the H of uh, uh, whatever we will write in the for loop suppose we are in the for loop we are writing I so H uh, that will be multiplied with samples of I so like this so like this whatever will be the result uh, whatever is the result here that result we have to uh, play in the uh, kit in our kit uh, so uh, like this we can uh, make the fir filter so uh, last time uh, in the second video we showed you that how to make a new project so uh, now we'll make firstly a new project and then we'll write a coding for that uh, uh, filters so uh, i have already opened that code composer studio so in Code Composer Studio, uh, I will again show you that how to make a new project. Go into the project, make a new project. We can write it a name as a, a filters demo, and we have to select the target here. So our target is six seven. Then uh, finish it. So after finishing, we have to go on file uh, and we have to make a, some new source file. So we have to write a source file. Now we'll simply uh, store the this file. Just we'll click Control S and we will save it uh, so we will we'll not save it here we will save it in our uh, project folder so our project folder is here so just sorry this is our project folder filters demo so we can write uh, uh, we can give it some name suppose we are giving it a main dot c just make sure we are writing s dot c extension just save it so now we have saved this so uh, we have to uh, add this into our project we have to add this into our project just right click on here click add files to the project so add this main into the project so we ha now we have to copy the uh, header files and the library files to our project the same we have done in the uh, second video so we have the library files and we have the header files folder and we have to paste it here in the filters demo all the library files ok 
paste and paste it here so now again go back copy all the error files and uh, uh, save it on the same folder save it here so now add all these uh, files to our project all the library files and the all the hero files to our project add files to project and here we have to go for the file type to all types and in all we have to select so select all these files and uh, click on open here so click on open 